Oh, the rats, Lou. <laughs> Lots of rats. I was thinking you did that story about the otter. I don't know if any of this would help the people if you're floating in there and an otter attacks Ooh, you. That's that awful. would be the worst. And you're in a floaty? You're in a bathing suit oh. having a beer? Forget oh. it. No way. Yeah. Okay, um, I've heard a lot about uh, problems with rats and mice. Yeah. And um, I don't know what it is, but I have noticed, uh, I've gotten phone calls, uh, I've seen video of people showing me stuff they're doing. So, my opinion, okay, you kill in the mice and the rats because they're full of disease. Right. A lot of people don't think that way. They go, oh, they're, you know, they're creatures and we right. should save them. So I have some options for those that want to save. Okay. These are repellents. This is a product called Fresh Cab. It was actually invented for farm tractors out in the fields. It, they're little sachets inside there you open up and you toss in the under the sink base or where you might see it. It's a lovely smell. They don't like it. This is an electronic one uh, for people that camp or you store a boat. You put a set of batteries in there, it can last up to 12 months. You know, one of the things that happens with mice and rats, uh, a lot of people come out, they chew the wires in the car. Oh yeah. You can hang this inside the engine compartment of your car and it has an ultrasonic sound that you and I don't hear, but evidently the mice and the rats don't like it. Okay. This one is a solar powered mole and gopher spike, not rat, mice, but chipmunks, that kind of stuff, big problem. You put it in the ground and you it mimics the sound of a rodent in distress. I use something like this in my garden, works like a champ. Really? Yeah. What do you know? Really okay. works. Now, oh. for those that don't love the mice and the rats and you want to say bye bye um, this one by Tomcat is a little bait station. So if you have pets like cats or uh, dogs, this only the little mouse can go in and chew the food. And what happens is after a couple of days, bye bye mouse. These are throw packs, kind of like the sachets, but they're bait trap. So if you got hard to reach areas, up on a gutter, they like to go up on gutters too. You can throw this stuff up here. These How are, do you get it down? You don't. You they eat all the food. And then they just. Well, they may not expire up in the gutter. Oh, okay. You know, who knows? Oh. We just want them gone. All right. This is the most inexpensive glue patch you can buy. I think two of these is like a buck. And these are glue chaps. So you peel them away. If you can, take a little peanut butter and put a dab right in the center. I, you know what? I love peanut butter. And if I was a mouse, I'd be dead. Wait a minute. So this is just, it's a you, glue pad, and then you see, the, you, so see you see the mouse you, just laying there eating the peanut butter and with its legs up in the air? And he says, help me, and ah. then you throw him and then you say bye-bye. Okay, Ugh. like I said, yeah. this is my opinion. Yeah, yeah. You do what you want. You can either repel yeah. them or you can say bye-bye. All right, Lou, thanks I so like much. I like bye-bye. Thank you. you can listen to Lewis House of Arts Radio on WGN Radio Saturdays, 6 to 10 a.m. And he's got that YouTube channel. He tells you how to do everything. Thanks, yeah, Lou. You're a nice senior. Good to see you. Hey, Mark.